obviously uh, the the continent is going through uh, some serious challenges, uh, and those those challenges are are really an exogenous shock coming from uh, the COVID nineteen pandemic. So COVID nineteen, uh, in terms of its health consequences for the African continent, have not been as severe as what we've seen in both Asia, Europe, uh, and the Americas. But nonetheless, the economic consequences have been quite severe. And the economic consequences have really meant that we have lost about five years worth of gains in terms of economic development in just under a year. And if uh, the recovery does not happen quickly, the situation will become more dire. So in a nutshell, uh, COVID-19 did lead to the collapse of commodity markets. Uh, it did lead to the collapse of uh, export revenues coming to a range of, of countries, uh, our 54 regional member countries. Uh, and we have had to respond to that very aggressively to provide uh, budget support to the countries that have been most seriously impacted. So obviously, if, you're, if your primary export is cocoa beans and uh, the price of cocoa collapses, if your primary export is coffee beans and uh, the commodity markets for coffee prices for coffee beans collapse, or if your primary export is, is crude oil, and again, uh, those commodities, uh, those commodity markets that we've seen also collapse. Most have rebounded now, but what this has really meant is very serious fiscal distress for many of the countries that are regional member countries for the African Development Bank. So President Adesina, uh, seeing this trend, asked us to intervene very quickly, and, and his vision was to provide fiscal support to uh, our 54 regional member countries and to provide them with the resources, the fiscal resources, so they would not default on foreign debt, so they would still be able to maintain uh, a well-functioning economy to make sure that they had the fiscal resources to be able to continue with government spending, to be able to get pensioners paid, to get civil service wages paid, to keep large public sector infrastructure projects uh, uh, functioning and, and going uh, and not going off the rails. So we have provided uh, close to $5 billion in fiscal support uh, in literally less than, than, than nine months uh, to our regional member countries as an offset to the, uh, the, the fiscal crises uh, that they had to endure as a result of the collapse of commodity markets that came as a result of an exogenous shock that is COVID-19. So um, the Aswan Forum, the second edition of the Aswan Forum, its, it's focus is on how do we build back better from COVID-19? How do we get the economies of the 54 regional uh, uh, member countries uh, of the African Development Bank, the African continent uh, proper? How do we get that resilience back that we have lost? And how do we build back better? How do we also do that while ensuring peace and security? So uh, the forum is a very important point of, of, of discussion to talk about ideas on how to build back better. And of course, uh, how uh, we can ensure over the medium term that our countries that are dependent on two or three primary exports, this kind of exogenous shock does not happen in the future. It obviously, what COVID-19 has, has taught us, it obviously has taught us that more, more uh, resilience of these economies is necessary, more diversification of these economies are necessary, more uh, uh, value chain development is necessary, improved supply chains are necessary, but more than anything else, that we as a continent uh, have to, to, to integrate our economy better so we can sustain external shocks. We cannot be dependent on two or three primary uh, exports uh, in select countries. We need economies that are much more diversified than this. And this is the primary point of discussion in the Aswan forum.